Hi, right, thanks for checking out another one of our videos here. Well, this is uh, just going to kind of be an overview testing video of this particular unit. So one, one we worked on for a customer. It's a Five Shock Ultra Shock SS4000 model. Um, they made a made a handful of units like this style and shape. Some of them had a bunch of lights on like this one did. Some of them had just a single light in the middle, and that was it. Um, this one's got a set of lights on the side there too. Um, this light's your kind of a power light. This light will flash uh, with every pulse, I believe. And then these will, this is like your fence performance gauge basically. So it has like high, medium, low, and insufficient. So um, depending on how clean your fence is, it depends on how high up these lights will go. So we're going to go through and kind of just talk about this one real quick. I, it's already fixed and, and ready to go. The guy's already okay to repair. We're going to fix, you know, finish it off. Well, it's already finished. We're going to box it up and ship it back to him today or tomorrow. So if you got one of these units you'd like us to work on, we work on every brand under the sun, old style, new style. This unit's probably 20 years old. Um, it, he said he his brother owned it. I, so I told him, so that's probably a 15-year-old unit. So he said, oh, I bet it's older than that. He said his brother moved to Texas. And that was over 15 years ago, and he had it then and, and down there. So this one's probably you know, 15, 20, something years old. But it looks, cosmetically, was really good shape. It hadn't been used in a number of years. And then uh, we went to use it, and um, it wasn't working at all. It wasn't working right at all. So we went through it, got it going again, and, um, and everything. But anyways, let's plug it in here. I like about this one, it's got a couple of external fuses right here, so you can change the fuses on your own. It takes a uh, 1 amp 250 volt fuse that you can push and turn. And there's your fuse. But this is not load impedance. This is old solid state unit. You know, load impedance were around when this was built. But um, this five shock band just wasn't uh, doing it that way yet. At least on this particular model. So we're going to get this thing adjusted. So plug it in flip the switch on i think this light comes on solid and after about a five seconds or so this light should start clicking oh, there it goes okay this one didn't have a good connection on my outlet Nice bright light, a little flashing light there. There's your row of lights there. So depending on what kind of load you get on there. On the fence, depends on how many lights will flash on there. Oh, come on. These mounts causing us some issues. Look at this. Turn my back just a little bit, shuts off. Let's fix that. Comes on, clicks no output. Yeah. Okay. I think so, yeah. Pretty high KV reading there. Let's see what kind of spark this thing will jump. Let's um, get a couple screwdrivers. Change that cap on it or something. Oh, come on.
pretty hot unit. A lot of voltage coming out of there, a lot of energy. Well, let's take this, since we're having trouble with that fuse mount, let's go ahead. I wouldn't think this was going to be a repair video, but then I wouldn't have any trouble with that until I removed the cap just to show you the fuse, and then all of a sudden now we're having trouble with that dumb thing. So maybe I should have just left it alone. Stuff I think is fine. It's just this. All right, let's let's pull the wires off. Let's see what fuse mount we got that will fit inside there. All right, got this one here, but I think it's you know, it's just a little too big, so we're it, the hole's too small for this one. But the good thing is it will share the same size, it'll hold the same size fuse, but the hole is a little too small. So let's uh, get a drill here. So we're going to take let's drill a little bit off at a time because you always take more plastic off. It's really hard to put plastic back on if you drill the hole out bigger. Oh, put the tape on there. There we go. Put the little washer on there. We'll put it on like that. Need this. this dumb thing but nut on this fuse mount tightens up so much and it just loosens back up and you have to retighten it back down again you yeah, never had one do that to me before see it's all the way on there just fine then it tightens up like it's supposed to but inside here being stupid. It's not cross threaded, so you can run it just fine.
reason, for whatever dumb reason it wouldn't do it for. Cap off this one's a threaded cap versus a push and turn, which I like those better, anyways. All right, see if this thing acts a little more consistent. Oh, yeah, I didn't even hesitate. That's good. All right, well, now we're done with this one. I thought we were done earlier, but I guess not. All right, well, that's it for this little video. I like to hit the thumbs up button, like this kind of stuff. I like to send us a fence charter to send it to us. There are links down below and all the in the description for my websites and everything. But send it on in here and we'll take a look at it for you. Until next time, see you later on.